about four raspberry plants and we had two blueberries already that were just in bags they're kind of neglected and we bought two or three more blueberry plants or bushes so I'm gonna try to plant those uh, I'm not sure I've never done it before like in the ground only in pots so I'm not sure on the spacing I'm just gonna go about like 18 inches apart if it's too close it's too close we'll just move it later it's no it's no big deal so the type these two are both Indian summer raspberries and they're everbearing varieties it says this everbearing selection produces a small crop of large tasty berries in late spring to early summer and a larger crop in early fall okay so that's what it means excellent for jams uh, jellies pies and tarts adapts to heavier soils and produces vigorous rambling canes its hardiness zones are four to nine and it gets about five to six feet tall and i'm going to leave room uh on the ends so like the, the actual bed is going to be to where the other one is i don't know if you can see that in frame but i'm going to leave room to put a post in and run wires to hold up the raspberries because this whole row is going to be raspberries and then on the other side it's going to be blueberries oh a giant rock great I've never done no dig before, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be uh, poking holes in the cardboard for the plants, but I feel like these will just fall over if I don't plant them deep enough, so that's fine. Here. Uh, if you haven't noticed, our ground is really, really rocky, <laughs> so it makes digging really fun. These have just been in our yard. Uh, kind of just like getting acclimated to the area and they've been getting abused by the wind just tipped over every chance like every light breeze tips these over because they're so tall so I'm gonna have to get something built to hold them in place like pretty soon and I'm just breaking up the roots a little bit because it's a little bit root bound because we've had these for a couple weeks Thanks for the sponsorship and for the wheat barrier. <laughs> this video isn't sponsored. Christy gets on, like, to sponsor her channel. Okay, and then we got two more varieties. Or one more variety, but two plants. You know what I'm saying. They're called Meeker. I don't know. It just says plant and well drained soil. I swear there was another tag on these, but they've been outside so long. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure there was a tag dis like description uh, that said like what they needed and how big they get, but I'll have to look it up. Do the old perfect measurement trick. Perfect. I've done like zero research on uh, berries, so hopefully I'm not like screwing it up. Uh, I'm not even sure if like most people plant like two rows per row. I'm not sure if people do that or not. Um, we can eventually move them if they need to be, but right now it's just been like, like I said, weeks. Oh, we've had these plants and I'm just starting to feel bad for them. <clears throat> the end of the pots, like they're not doing, they're not doing so hot. We've had a crazy amount of wind uh, lately. Like 
probably not compared to some of you guys that are like in Texas, Oklahoma, all those states, but like we had like a windstorm come through the other night that blew the trampoline out of Christy's sister's yard. It like blew it up over the fence and knocked over her husband's motorcycle. <laughs> not cool. It was, yeah. And at their house that they're living at, at that house, um, when, when you get wind like that, it, because it's an old house, it sounds like the house is gonna fall over. Like it's, it's pretty sketchy. All, all of this is new growth. It, I can see that it's about to start flowering. This, these uh, two are. So hopefully, hopefully we'll actually get a couple of berries off of it. That would be really nice. Um, I'm not really expecting anything off of the stuff we're planting this year, other than the annual crops that we're gonna do, which we're really late on those two. We're probably about a month late on planting tomatoes, peppers, zucchini like everything the only thing we have in the ground right now um, in this bed that you guys are sitting on top of basically potatoes which we planted those about a month late they haven't even popped up yet um, our onions which we again late and beets and bok choy and some winter greens that didn't do so well like right after I planted them the weather went insane and totally like it was just freezing and non-stop rain for weeks on end so everything kind of got like yellow and overwatered and most of the greens died the beets look like they're recovering though so we'll see we're planting in uh pure compost in a no dig fashion just like we're doing the re with the regular garden or with the rest of the garden um with the blueberries i am going to add in some peat moss just for uh acidifying the soil a little bit because i guess they like acidic soil that's the one thing i know about berries and that blueberries are like super freaking hardy because we, like I said, we've abused the ones in the pots. Like we didn't water them. We haven't done anything to them in two years, which I feel bad about, but we'll, we'll make up for it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so these are all the little beet seedlings. They're doing all right, but I feel like they should be way bigger by now but they just had really inconsistent weather and watering. So we'll see how they uh, pan out. Yummy. strawberries in between the blueberries over here and since we have some space yeah I just don't know what else to do with them right now I was gonna make some ooh, look at that. make some uh, strawberry like planters out of the, some of the logs that we have I just haven't had the time so we still can yeah we still can exactly 
with different strawberries. But these ones just like, they're getting root bound. They're starting to, so I'd rather just get them in the ground, you know? I don't know, somebody might be able to tell us if we're supposed to like dig out the cardboard always or just leave it intact and plant the plant on top. You are supposed to plant the plant on top, not okay. dig out the cardboard. Okay. I can tell you. Oh, somebody just told me. I think you did for the blueberries. Probably. I did for the blueberries just because they were in big, like really big pots. That's but. fine. And we'll just get some weeds that come up through and then we'll just figure it out later. Ain't no thing. Oh, what's this sun? Oh my goodness. I have not seen you in what feels like 10 years. So these are Rainier strawberries, good sized berries that maintain their size throughout the season. Good flavor, vigorous growth uh, habit, excellent choice for the Pacific Northwest, hence the Rainier. Well-drained soil, replace every three years. I didn't realize you had to replace them, to be honest. Miss me with that, I'm not gonna do anything like that. I'm a perennial plant grower, I do not like I like annuals. I think they're beautiful. Yeah, most th annuals are like way more beautiful. They're way more beautiful, but I am so somebody that will not buy it if it's annual. <laughs> it's just kind of a bummer. To like, it is such a bummer to waste, not waste, but put lot, all that effort in yeah, for it's a what? Lot of effort and money and then time growing it and stuff, and then it just like dies on you. Like, you're going to die on me? Yeah, you're going to die right now? Here oh, there's a big dog. spider on your leg. Be careful. No, no, it's okay. It's one of those like cutie ones. The big weird. What even? Is it a spider? Yeah, they are. They're just like. They almost look like the water bugs. You're going to crush him, huh? No, he's already on the blood chips. Okay, hang on. Don't put your knee down. I can see him. Go ahead. Rave reviews about this new everbearing uh, berry. Everbearing berry. It's really hard to say. Uh, excellent flavor, large size, disease resistance, and very high yields. Long season from June to October. Needs sun. Plant 12 inches apart. Perfect. Perfect. Mommy, mommy. What's up, baby? Ada, Ada. You want to go inside? inside? You've been asking to go outside all day. Isn't that the truth? know it buddy don't i know it we're not going inside we're finally outside sorry you're all bundled this is what we do now huh bum this is what we do now i know i'll bring some more compost over why do you want to go inside we 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 home that's what he's saying and then we got Mary's Peak Strawberry. For the Pacific Northwest, deep red strawberries ripen in... <laughs> ripens late June. Firm berries, excellent flavor, upright plants. Oh, I noticed. I just thought it was like growing out of control. Upright plants, uh, very productive, uh, resist disease like sun draining. Like sun and drainage. It's really easy to read with somebody just like... Screaming it's like the... the um, what is that? Speech jammer? Speech jammer. Hey, dude. It's a thought jammer, though. It's like, holy. It's okay. We're going to be out here for just a few more minutes, okay? More minutes. Can you say a few more minutes? Can you say a couple minutes? Say a couple minutes. Say a few minutes, guys. Almost. Can you say almost? Very good. Almost. This is the last one, and then we can go inside. At least we'll go up to the house. Yep, yep, we know. You've made it very clear, my love. I know yeah. it's hard, Bubba. Even this is just like perfect. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Happy, okay. happy, happy, happy. Which is help, please, by the way, is what he's saying. But it just comes out as happy, happy, Being happy. Dramatic you think? He asked to come outside, and then we brought him outside. <laughs> So. The life of a toddler. <laughs> Don't walk through there. Walk around. Let me get a pick you up. Eh, 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 eh. Walk around. Go this way. There we go. No, don't walk through there. Keep going. Very good. No, there you go. Yay! I guess we're done. For obvious reasons. We gotta go inside. We gotta. What do we wanna do inside? Ask to go back outside? <gasps> so, yeah, I planted some berries. Um, we waited way too long to plant them. 
but as you can see, uh, it's hard to make free time. All right, guys. Thank you uh, for watching, and uh, we'll keep you updated on how these are doing. We'll see you in our next video.